whenever you think about coming to the UK, one of the biggest things you have to factor in is what is going to be the total cost for you to come into the UK. Now, one of the major costs are obviously your visa charges and all of the expenses that go along with it. And if today's video is going to be explaining all of that in massive detail, especially if you are a healthcare professional or somebody who's planning to come to the UK on a work visa. So today's video is going to give you a step-by-step -step detailed breakdown of how much money you need to save back in your home country, especially if you are planning to come to the UK and work. Now, for those of y'all who do not know me, my name is Nikita and I make videos about clearing your HCPC registration to work as a healthcare professional in the UK, clearing those interviews, landing those jobs. And if any of this is of interest to you, do not forget to follow me on Instagram, but also subscribe to me on YouTube. So let's get right into it. Now, if you are a healthcare professional, whether that's a physio, OT, speech and language therapist or any other healthcare professional, the first biggest expense for you to think about is your IELTS. Why you would ask? Well, the answer is simple because this is the first thing that you need to focus on in order to land your HCPC registration. Now, for those of y'all who do not know what HCPC is, HCPC stands for Healthcare and Professionals Council, which governs 15 occupations or professions in the UK. You need this license in order to start working as a healthcare professional in the UK. And if you are confused about how to make those HCPC applications, do not stress, I've got you. You can definitely check out this playlist, which has the step-by-step -step process of that you need to follow in order to get your HCPC registration. And if you're still confused about it, do not forget to book a one-to-one -one session with me where we can go through all of those details with you. The second thing that obviously you need to remember when you are doing your HCPC registration is firstly, think about giving your English language requirements. Now, for those of y'all who followed me on Instagram, you know, my go to test is obviously the IELTS, which is the one that I had given when I was applying for my HCPC registration all those years ago. And thinking about IELTS, the cost for it is about 170 pounds, which is nearly 17,000 Indian rupees. Now, just to keep this video easy, I'm going to be discussing everything in pounds. And so you can just go back to your Google calculators and check what is the conversion going to be in your home country currency. But for those of y'all who are also confused about whether you truly need to give IELTS, let me remind you that if you don't know much about it or are confused about whether you can use your medium of instruction letter from university or college or what test you should be giving, do not forget to check out my recent video on this topic, which highlights all of the recent updates from HCPC about English language proficiency test. So that's it. That's your first expense, IELTS, which is about £170. Now, moving on to your next expense, which is your HCPC registration expenses. Now, in terms of making your HCPC application, there are two major expenses that are going to come up for you. The first one is called the scrutiny fee. The scrutiny fee is a one-off payment that you are making to the HCPC for them to review your application and decide whether you're eligible to get on the register on the HCPC and practice as a healthcare professional in the UK. And the second fee is obviously the registration fee where you've completed the HCPC process and they've deemed that you can now qualify as a healthcare professional in the UK. Now, again, for those of y'all who are concerned about the HCPC application process and would need some guidance around it, if you are a physio or an OT, do not forget to check out my case study template, which highlights exactly what you need to write in your case studies in order to make a good, strong HCPC application. But let's come to more details about the scrutiny fee. And as you can see on your screens right there, that is a screenshot from the HCPC website. So it says right there that the scrutiny fee is a one-off non-refundable payment of £639.98 for the assessment of your application. You must make sure that you are ready to make the scrutiny fee payment. Otherwise, you might experience difficulty in completing this and submitting your application. Now, what's really important to know is, like I've said before, the scrutiny fee payment needs to be done exactly when you're submitting your HCPC application form. So when you are ready to submit your application, you should have this money already ready with you. Now, the reason for this is because if you do not make this payment, you are unable to successfully submit your HCPC application for review of the assessors. And this is going to delay your process 
forward and that is why it's really important for you to have this money already ready now once you've submitted your form and paid the scrutiny fee the fcpc assessors will evaluate your application and if they've evaluated your application and felt that you've met all of the requirements that are required in order to work as a healthcare professional in the uk they will send you an email which will state that you are now having to pay the registration fee the registration fee as you can see right now stands at 232 pounds for 2 years so that just means that you have to pay the upfront cost for 2 years so that means that if you are making a payment in 2024 your next payment should ideally not come up until 2026 however there can be some discrepancies around it and for those of you all who are confused about it let me know in the comments below and i will try to make a video to explain that a bit better but remember the fcpc registration cycles usually run in two year periods and so you are expected to pay this 232 pounds together for the two years of your registration cycle now again this is something that you have to do within 48 hours of receiving that link so i highly recommend making sure that you already have this money again ready in your bank and the easiest way to pay it off is by using an international credit card which is also what's recommended by hcpc so make sure that you have all of these payment techniques ready in the back now once you've landed your hcpc registration you're obviously ready and you're in the right place to start applying for jobs because this is exactly what you need in order to start applying for ban 5 level roles and above now for those of you all who are confused about what is ban 5 what is ban 6 and what amount of experience you need in order to apply for roles within the nhs do not forget to check out this video which has all of the details has explained clearly what are the bans and what ban jobs you should be looking for in order to get the right opportunity for you and in order to make those applications again there is a detailed playlist that you can check which gives you step by step guidance on how you should make those applications what are the steps you need to follow and what is it that uk employers are looking for but again if you have any doubts about it or are facing rejections constantly feel free to book a one to one session with me where we can go over all of the details that you need in order to make a strong nhs application with a really good supporting information section that can land you interviews in the uk but once you've landed those roles and got a successful positive response from a uk employer the next thing you want to do is apply for your work visa now assuming that you are applying as a healthcare professional you're most likely going to be applying under the health and care worker visa so let's talk about the cost for the health and care worker visa application So as you can see on your screens right there the standard application fee depends on whether you'll be in the UK for up to 3 years or 5 years your typical work visas that are sponsored by UK employers i must say are for about 3 years however as you can see on your screens right there for up to 3 years the cost is 284 pounds per person and for more than 3 years it is 551 pounds per person that was about the application fee but again you need to remember that you need to also have some money that's available in your bank account to show the uk government that you can support yourself for the first month when you come into the uk and as you can see on your screens right there it says that you must have at least 1270 pounds in your bank account to show that you can support yourself in the uk you will need to have this money available for at least 28 days in a row and day 28 must be within the 31 days of applying for this visa you'll usually need to show proof of this when you apply unless you've been staying in the uk for a valid visa for at least 12 months or your employer can cover these costs for you during your first month in the uk so some of the nhs trusts are a list sponsors and you can request your nhs trust to tick that box of maintenance funds if they have ticked that box in your course then you do not need to show those additional 1270 pounds in your bank account now again this can be in your home currency but like i've said this is just for the ease of explaining the video to you you can go back and check what is the money that's required in your own currencies based on the pound to your currency conversion ratio on google but that is the amount that you would need in order to apply for your visa and show in your bank account however if you are planning to come along with your spouse or children that is along with your dependents these costs are going to obviously go up So let's see what is the change if you had to get your spouse and children along with you. 
Now, in terms of spouse and children, what you need to remember is that you can only get your husband or wife and children along with you on your dependent visa. You cannot get your parents along with you. In terms of their application fee, as you can see right there, if they are applying for a visa for up to three years, it will again be £284 per person. So that's going to be £284 for your wife and £284 for your child. And if you have another child, that's going to be another £284 for you. And if the visa is for more than three years, that would be £551 per person. So again, like I said, it's going to be 551 for your spouse, 551 for your child. And for child number two, that will again be an additional 551. What I must highlight over here, though, is that these charges are obviously for the entire duration of three years or five years. So you do not need to keep making these payments every year or sort of annually within the UK. The second thing that you obviously need to think about is money that they would need to support themselves. So your partner and your child should obviously have a certain amount of money available to support themselves while they are in the UK. You and your partner or your child would need £285 for your partner, £315 for child number one and £200 for any additional children from there on. So they've also given you a bit of an example to understand. So if this is a situation where you are also getting your partner and one child along with you, you would need a total of £600 for your partner and your child additionally. Now this amount needs to be shown in your bank account. So you don't need to have this money paid while you're making your visa application, but it just needs to be in your bank account because £285 is what you need to show for your partner and £315 is what you need to show for your child, which is an overall cost of £600 that needs to be there in your bank account for 28 days. Now, remember that this £600 needs to be on top of the £1,270 that you need in order to show that you can support yourself in the bank account for 28 days as well. So in all, if you are a family of three coming to the UK, you need to show at least £1,870 in your bank account. And I would say there's no harm in showing a little bit higher than that anyways. So make sure that you have the, all of this money in your bank account for 28 days before you make your visa application as a health and care professional. I hope this video made a lot of sense, guys, because these are the updated values or the updated amount of money that you need in your bank accounts or on you when you make your visa applications or consider to even move to the UK from your home countries. Again, if you have questions about any of this, do let me know in the comments below and I will make a video about it. But take care, guys. Bye.